This is Mr. TriPi, and today I'm going to show you how to make Tune Water in Unreal Engine 4. You start with a basic plane from the basic menu, and then you make your new material. You call this M Tune Water. And we add it in here. I'll place on this so that we can preview it. All right, so the first things first, we need to set our base color. So we're gonna hit the V key while clicking down and that creates a vector parameter, which we will name base color. And we'll select a nice blue color. And then we plug that into our base color. We need a roughness value which will be zero. We next we need an opacity value, which I'll use the scalar parameter, which is done by pressing S while you click down. And I would call it a pass and I will call it opacity and give it a value of 0.5. and throw that into our opacity. Next, I'm going to go ahead and change this to translucent shading model. And I'm going to go down here and choose surface translucency volume as the lighting mode for our translucency. That gives us nice reflections. OK. So we can save that and look at its effects. We now need to add a white outline for foam around this. This is done using a depth fade with a parameter set to one for opacity and one set to and one set to ten. that will be called distance. This can be adjusted for your shader. It's a good number to play around with. Next we need to invert this with a one minus node and plug this into an if statement. We will then have a scalar parameter called foam amount and I'm going to use 0 0.05 for this and this goes into our B we will have a parameter set to 1 which will be our white color here and then we can use our base color in here and plug that in and save to see the results that gives us our basic white outline now we want to add a little bit of an animation so that the white outline waves around we can do this by using a noise texture and combining it with the depth fade so I'm gonna add a texture by pressing T when I hold down and use my noise texture. You can use any one, just one generated by Photoshop or whatever editor you use. Or I'll have a link in the description to download this. For this, I'm going to have it done based off of the world for the UVs. So I'm going to use absolute, I'm going to use a world position, mask with just RG, multiply it by a scalar parameter which we will call scale and point and I'll use point zero zero one for now and plug it in here and plug this into a panner to animate it and put in a small value such as point zero five 
in both directions for the speed and plug it into our UVs. Next we're going to go ahead and lerp this output by pressing down L and plugging this into the alpha and have a foam boost parameter so that we can change the range of colors in this so that we can make the blacks not quite black. I'm going to use a value of negative 0.4 for this. Again, something that you can adjust for your own shader and play around with. And then we're going to go in after this one minus and multiply it together. And save the results. Now we have a little bit of a wavy look to the foam. Next we're going to add some refraction to it so that the details under the water will bend. The normal way to do refraction would be to take a lerp and take a Fresnel node and put that into the alpha. Set the top value to 1 and the bottom value to 1.33. So A to 1 and B to 1.33. And then you put that into the refract. And you'll use normal maps for it to create the waves and the varying amounts of refraction. However, this also adds shine to the tops of the little ripples, and we don't want this for this style of shader. So I'm going to use a similar setup to what I have here, taking this and lerping it with a value that I'm going to call refraction boost. And I'm going to set it to a value of 0.9. I then plug this slurp into this slurp and check out the results. Now we can see that there is little bits of refraction added to it. This was Mr. TriPi, and thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and maybe leave a comment. Thank you.